Hello everyone. This is Rashid Kibria from University of Florida. Today I want to talk about the finite state machine extraction engine from flattened gate level netlist for uh, security applications that we have developed. I am quite happy to present our work in IEEE VTS 22 conference. Here is presented the outline uh, of my presentation. To start with, I want to talk about the motivation behind our work. Existing FSM extraction techniques have longer runtime, and these techniques also suffer from inaccuracy to extract all control FSMs. Manual decision is often required to identify potential control FSM registers. As a result, these methods are not completely automated. There are also reliability issues in FSM extraction results because these techniques cannot isolate control registers uh, from counters perfectly. Finally, these methods cannot extract human readable state transition graphs for extracted all the control efficiencies because these techniques fail to separate state transition graphs if multiple control efficiencies are present. In our paper, uh, we have actually developed um, uh, this efficiency framework for automatic recognition of all control efficiencies present in the netlist. Extraction of all uh, human readable state transition graphs were also a target. And we have made this framework to apart from faster and more uh, accurate recognition of control efficiencies have been achieved. Our framework is ASIC technology independent. It is also independent of commercial ASIC synthesizers. Uh, you can use any sort of um, commercial synthesis tool, for example, either Genus or Design Compiler to synthesize RTL designs. Our framework is very fast and accurate. Currently, it is compatible with flattened netlist, but it can be easily extended to provide support for netlists having hierarchies. The basic principle of finite state machine extraction is quite simple. When we think about an um, FSM, uh, this picture comes into our mind. An FSM has two parts. The first one is the state transition logic or STL, and the second one is the state register, which commonly forms the FSM minimum extraction region. And we are uh, currently focused on extracting this part. The principle is, First, we need to identify the state register. Next, we have to detect the state transition logic. And finally, we have to extract the FSM and yield the state transition graph. The overview of FSMX framework is presented here. There are two major inputs to our framework. That is the flattened gate level netlist in .v format, which is obtained via synthesizing uh, the RTL designs using any commercial synthesis tool. The second uh, major input is the ASIC technology library in .lib and .v formats. They are actually used in multiple uh, stages uh, of this uh, framework. Our framework generates the state transition graph of the control FSM and also the netlist. The netlist to graph representation converter converts a flattened gate level netlist into suitable graph representation to apply graph algorithmic uh, analysis. Technology library in .lib format is required to get information of all the cells present in the netlist. And uh, this framework converts the netlist into uh, sets of vertices of directed graph. The directed graph uh, is a, um, has uh, some vertices or nodes, which are nothing but the gates present in the netlist and the edges of this graph are nothing but the interconnections between two gates present in the, in the netlist. The high level overview of uh, net, uh, um, netlist to graph representation convert is shown here. The intermediate gate level netlist processor takes uh, these two inputs and converts uh, the netlist uh, into an intermediate representation, which is uh, shown here by a structured nets report with, with instances, which is utilized by graph representation converter. Finally, the structured connected components report or nothing but the uh, graph representation of the entire netlist uh, is generated as the output. Here is shown an, a sample example of this, extremely, uh, of this structured connected components report. 
On the left hand side, we see the unstructured pattern net list of a simple design that is GCD LCM processor. And on the right hand side, we see the structured connected components report of it. So we see um, this uh, report is uh, really highly structured and uh, one line actually means an age of this graph. The, um, and there are 12, four in entities in a single line. And the first one is the source gate. The next one is the destination gate. The third and four um, entities are types of the source gate and destination gates respectively. Here is shown the high level overview of uh, FSM candidates identifier framework, which takes the structured connected components report as input. In the first stage, the combinational and sequential DAG is generated. Next, uh, all the registers present in the net list are identified. Uh, finally, we perform uh, ISM calculation to minimize the sequential DAG, and we also perform self and cross flip flop analysis to calculate the FSM probability metric to generate uh, the FSM register candidates report. Here is shown the combinational and sequential DAG generation process. In the left hand side, we see the netlist uh, graph, which is a uh, directed and cyclic in nature. But in the right hand side, we see this whole graph is, is split into two parts. So one is known as the sequential DAG and the other one is the combinational DAG. And uh, these two DAGs does not have any cycles in them. So they are actually called directed acyclic graph. And in the sequential DAG, uh, we can get all the flip flops, registers or sequential cells. And, uh, in a, in a, and in the combinational DAG, uh, no such uh, sequential cells are present, only all the uh, other cells are present here. This stage register formation is very important and it is mainly done by performing analysis on the sequential DAG to group flip flops together. And all the register names are identified at this stage because synthesizers uh, preserve the name of the registers used in a certain RTL design, which is true for any sort of commercial synthesizer. Here is shown an example. Uh, if a designer um, uh, defines uh, some sort of register having a bit width of three uh, using this construct, after synthesis, uh, it is transformed into three flip flops uh, having this uh, sort of naming patterns. And um, all of these uh, flip flops uh, basically means uh, they are part of a uh, single register that, that has your name of estate underscore reg. Here is shown some structural properties of control efficiencies, uh, which uh, distinguish a control efficient from a non control one. And here is uh, shown a simple example of a control efficient. It is actually a sequence detector, and this one is a, an accumulator, four bit accumulator. Uh, there are basically three properties uh, which we can derive uh, uh, from the structural differences between these uh, two uh, examples. The first property is the data inputs of potential state flip-flops are driven by dissimilar cells, which can be easily found here. Uh, we have two flip-flops uh, in this FSM, and uh, one flip-flop is driven by a two-input OR gate, the other one is driven by a three-input OR gate, but uh, this is not true for an accumulator case. Uh, it is also not true for data register or other non-control efficiencies. The second and third property are very important uh, for successful identification of uh, control efficiencies. They are potential straight flip-flops uh, contain pure combinational cell feedback loops. And uh, the third property is that potential straight flip-flops uh, influence uh, other straight flip-flops and they also tend to uh, be influenced by others. So there is a, a strong uh, self and cross uh, flip flop influence uh, present in a certain control FSM state register. Based on these properties, we have developed two mathematical metric. The first one is the input similarity metric or ISM, and the second one is the FSM probability metric or FPM. The ISM is actually used to uh, minimize the sequential DAG, and uh, the expression, mathematical expression, is shown here. And in this uh, expression, N1, N2, N3 basically represents the number of flip flops having a certain sort of uh, similar type of standard cells, and capital N stands for the total number of flip flops. And in our experiments, we have used ISM value to be 85%, and it has actually yielded good results because 
it is really so much a high uh, similarity metric to um, isolate most of the data registers and accumulators and some other non-control uh, registers. The F FPA metric uh, acts as the second filter, uh, but ISA metric acts as the first filter. So in FPA metric, uh, we take into account both the self and cross influence properties, which can, is specified using this equation, where S represents the uh, self uh, influence pulse, a number of self influence pulse, C stands for number of cross influence pulse, and capital N stands for the total number of flip flops present in the register. Uh, ISM helps us to improve overall runtime because it minimizes the sequential uh, DAG. Uh, but FPM actually helps us to identify all the control FSM state registers accurately and auto automatically. The last stage of uh, FSMS framework is this gate level uh, Boolean functional analyzer. Uh, in this stage, uh, mainly FSM netlists uh, are identified. Uh, the FSM netlists uh, uh, have the, uh, the maximum FSM probability metric and uh, they contain flip flops and state transition logic. In this stage, combinational state transition logic and uh, test benches for uh, this uh, tra state transition logic is generated automatically, which are taken uh, as input to Cadence uh, NC Verilog tool. Cadence NC Verilog tool generates report in a structured format, which is utilized by gate level state transition extractor that ultimately generates the gate level stages of all the control FSMs present in the design. Here is shown some experimental results. Uh, these experimental results are quite promising. And uh, from this, we see that uh, FSMX is really very fast. The runtime is quite small. And our uh, experiments on uh, these benchmarks um, have shown us that FSMX has achieved 10 times runtime improvement co compared to existing approaches. And the uh, time complexity and space complexity is mentioned here. Uh, and the detailed analysis you can uh, find in our paper. These uh, benchmarks were synthesized using uh, size 19 nanometer technology library and the RTL designs were obtained from several open source uh, repositories. Here is shown a case study on NIST SHA 512 netlist. In the left hand side, we see the flat end gate level netlist here, highly unstructured, and here, we see the extracted control FSM uh, netlist uh, extracted by FSMX, which is really very small. And here is shown the uh, gate level state transition graph of this uh, control FSM. And in this picture, uh, uh, I have shown here the RTL strategy extracted by uh, Quartus 2 to compare this RTL strategy with uh, this uh, gate level strategy. And uh, from this picture, uh, it is evident that this RTL SPG is a subset of uh, this uh, gate level SPG because all the states and state transitions are present here. And But uh, in the gate level SPG, uh, one state, one one is present, that is the don't care state. So FSMS can identify all the don't care states and don't care state transitions, which is really helpful for security analysis. Here is shown some uh, security applications of FSMX. It can be used for performing fault injection assessment because our framework can yield all the possible run care states or transition, transitions. FSMX can be also used to localize and extract control FSMs uh, from a flatten netlist, which may aid an attacker to launch more powerful structural attacks because it has a very short runtime. From the defense perspective, we can use it uh, to evaluate the efficacy of an FSM based obfuscation scheme because FSMS provides us the minimal possible time that an attacker may take to localize the control FSM region and hence perform structural attacks. FSMS can be also used for watermarking because it generates uh, transition conditions for each and every state transition present in a certain SPG. To conclude, FSMS enables finite state machine extraction from flat, flat and gate level at least in a short front time and 100% accurately. FSMX uh, identifies and localizes all control FSM regions in the net list, which is useful for a number of security applications. We can also use it for verification purposes. Our future research uh, incorporates a more improvement of the overall runtime. Uh, we also want to extend FSMX for net, net lists uh, synthesized using APJ libraries. 
Finally, we also want to utilize FSMS for performing fault rejection assessment, watermarking, and logic of first question in netlist level. That is all from me today. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.